Hey y'all, I wanna to talk to y'all about something extremely important and extremely topical. And there's a few things I wanna talk about, but first, let me say this. As an indigenous person who was born and raised in a land that was violently colonized and built off of genocide, I am avidly and fervently pro-Palestine. I will always support the liberation of indigenous people. And I feel like at this point in the conversation and the discourse that's being had on social media, everyone should know by now that that does not inherently make you anti-semitic that does not mean that you don't respect or support the jewish community or recognize the atrocities that have been inflicted upon them as well and now that i've established where my heart stands in the matter i want you all to know for those of you that don't follow me on instagram that i have been non-stop posting about this and posting a ton of resources including people to follow people that you should be paying attention to and i've also donated as well and i have a lot of those resources linked on my instagram as well there's a highlight that currently exists on my Instagram page and will stay there. But all of that being said, the reason why I hadn't posted a video about it up until this point was solely because this situation has been awful to witness live on social media and that's an understatement and we all know that and we're all well aware. And for someone like myself, it is very easy, contrary to popular belief, for me to get emotional. And I have been very emotional the past couple weeks and I didn't want to make a video because I didn't want to cry because I didn't want to center myself in a conversation that should be centered around Palestinian people and advocating against the ethnic cleansing that is currently happening right now. But then I realized after talking to a lot of people that I really love and a lot of you, that it would be a disservice to my integrity, my character, and all of you if I didn't use my platform in times when it really, really mattered. And this is one of those times. So for that, I am sorry that it took me this long to post a video talking about it. But I have never faltered on my stance and I stand for the liberation of Palestine and always will. And the last thing I really want to mention is something I wrote about on my Instagram story yesterday, which is I think it is a very, very vital part of being an intersectional activist, especially as marginalized people, to recognize oppressive structures and how they affect our communities personally, but also recognize ways in which our communities may have been indoctrinated and we didn't even realize it. I'll give you an example. When the UN voted on a ceasefire the second time, there were 14 countries that voted against a ceasefire, half of which were Pacific Island. And again, I'm Polynesian. My country personally, I don't think voted at all, but there were many that were Polynesian, Micronesian, Melanesian that did vote against a ceasefire. And it's in moments like that where we realize and recognize how being colonized and being indoctrinated with these white supremacist ideologies have started to manifest in the things that we think and believe now. Even if we don't truly believe that we ourselves are bigot, we are all indoctrinated with bigoted ideology. It's just a fact, it's a byproduct of colonization. It's a byproduct of being raised within a misogynistic, white supremacist, racist, homophobic, transphobic, you name it, world. That is the world that we have all been raised in. It's not our fault that we were taught these bigoted ideologies unknowingly, but it is our fault if we don't recognize them and unpack them. It is so incredibly important that we are honest with ourselves about how our communities may be actively and currently contributing to upholding white supremacy. And one facet of white supremacy is colonization. I really, really hope that some of you sit with that, even if you yourself sit within the margins of society, because nobody is free until we all are. That's all I have to say. I love you all and free Palestine.